Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at dynamic arrays. Now, arrays by default are limited to the number of items that you set when you declare it. So let's say you declare an array and you have it hold six items, so zero through five. Once you get to five, you cannot add any more items. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make an array bigger than it originally was by using the redim keyword. So we'll go ahead and open up our toolbox. We will add a list box and we will add a button. We'll go ahead and close out of that. So we'll come over here and we'll make each one of these a little bit bigger. So we'll just set the text for button one to redim and we will set the name to button uh, redim and we'll set the list box to list array okay so we'll go ahead and let's make this a little bit smaller we'll go ahead and double click on redim to open up the event for it and what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we are going to declare an array so private and we'll just do string sports and we'll set it to 2 so it'll hold three places as string and we'll go ahead and populate it so we will do baseball basketball and football and we aren't going to need this right here so let's go ahead and take that out okay so now we have an array that holds three items, 0, 1, and 2. So whenever they click redim, we want to add those items to the list. Well, first we'll add the items to the list and then we'll redeclare it. So for each item as string in string sports, we want to go ahead and type list arrays, list array dot items dot add item okay so we'll go ahead and run this and you can see here that if we click this button we get those three in there so now what we're going to do is we're going to redeclare that so let's wait for this to load here okay so we'll add a, another list box so we'll just come over here to our toolbox find list box okay so we'll shrink this down some to fit into our form and let's just make this a little wider and we'll, we'll set the name value of this to list new array so now we'll go ahead and come back here and we will find our button redim click event and now what we're going to do is we're going to redeclare string sports so we'll type re dim and if you read the description it says reallocate storage space for an array variable so it just pretty much starts over from uh, scratch so we'll read dim string sports and this time how many places do we want to have well right now we have two let's just do four so it'll have five and then we'll just go ahead and assign those to something so string string sports three it's going to be equal to wakeboarding and string sports 4 is going to be equal to um, let's just do soccer okay so now if we do another for loop so for each item as string in string sports we want to go ahead and type list new array dot items dot add and we're gonna do we're going to add brackets right here and then we'll add we'll add item and we'll add more brackets now the reason we're doing this is so that so that you can see each of the items enclosed in brackets and since some of these items are going to be null 
um, we need to put other strings in here because it will start complaining if it tries to print out something null and your program will crash. So we'll just go ahead and add these. Uh, let's go ahead and do it up here too so you can see, so you can easily compare them. And we will add them to the other side. Okay, so now if we go ahead and run this, you can see that here's our read dim button. If we go ahead and click that, we get baseball, basketball, and football. And then over here we have empty, 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 wakeboarding, and soccer. Now, when you redeclare an array, it's going to clear that array and set everything back to um, nothing. And it's going to make it bigger or smaller, whatever you want. Now, um, there is an easy way to fix this, and we will learn about that in the next tutorial. So um, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the next tutorial.